First of all, my advice is this. If you have a microwave, get it away from your family as soon as possible and replace it with a convection oven. Micro cooking food or putting any type of drinks, melting butter, anything that you do in the microwave, think about it. This is radiation. It's like you're putting your food and your drink in something and it's being radiated. That was Dr. Group with his advice about the dangers of microwave cooking. It would be worth knowing if the advice he gives is based on real clinical studies and research that's been done on microwave cooking. So let's see. I want to read to you real clinical studies and research that has been done on the effects of microwave cooking. According to Anthony Wayne and Lawrence Newell of the Christian Law Institute and Fellowship. At this point in time you might be wondering what Christian law and microwave ovens have in common. Well, not much. Unfortunately, the Christian Law Institute website doesn't exist anymore. However, in 2003, David Vernon from the Canberra Skeptics had documented a few of the wacky claims made by the group. The Christian Law Institute seems to be sexist, racist, and makes some bizarre claims. Anthony Wayne, who is one of the authors that Dr. Group refers to, has also claimed that the Jews are responsible for killing over 100 million white Christians in the last century. I think someone might have noticed that many white Christians being killed, so it's fairly safe to assume that it didn't happen and the author just made it up. Radiation causes ionization. No, that's not true. This is the electromagnetic spectrum with low energy radiation on the left and high energy radiation on the right. Ionizing radiation is up here at ultraviolet and higher energy. Non-ionizing radiation is there. Microwave radiation is way down here, and it's not even close to ionizing radiation. A microwave oven decays and changes the molecular structure of the food. Well, yes, it does. It cooks the food. That's the whole idea of cooking food. Humans cook food because it helps with digestion. The digestive system breaks down the molecular structure of the food, and by cooking it, we're giving our bodies a head start. The radiation breaks down any vitamins and minerals in the food and changes their natural structure. A 1995 article by Anne Lassen and Lars Olsen in the journal Nutrition and Food Science concluded, there is a tendency towards greater attention of many micronutrients with microwaving, probably due to the shorter preparation time. And the December 1989 issue of The Lancet, which is a very well respected medical journal, Yes, it is respected. This is a peer-reviewed journal. However, the journal also has a letters to the editor section which is not peer-reviewed. And you can find a letter to the editor titled Amino Acid Isomerization and Microwave Exposure in the 9th of December 1989 issue of The Lancet. As you can see, it's a short letter to the editor. And this is the quote from the Christian Law Institute article. Highlighted in yellow are the words that are actually used in The Lancet letter. And as you can see, they're not particularly good at quoting. In fact, if we look at all of the places where there are three or more words that are completely unedited, well, you can see this is not actually a quote. It's just picking random words and making the rest up. Basically, the letter in the Lancet suggested that further research should be done when they found that a protein in milk changed into a toxic form when microwaved. This was followed up by research groups around the world and the overall finding was that it is not relevant to the home heating of milk. The power levels of microwave radiation required was much greater than available to household microwave ovens. The next study was concluded that microwave cooking changed the nutrients in the food leading to changes in the consumer's blood that could damage bodily systems. Again, this was done by Dr. Hans Ehrlich Hertel and Dr. Bernard H. Blanc. This paper was not published in a peer-reviewed journal. The sample size for the study was only eight volunteers and none of the blood analysis results fell outside of the normal range of variation. Professor Blanc wanted nothing to do with the conclusions that Dr. Hertel was drawing and had stated, the results obtained do not in any circumstances justify drawing any conclusions as to the harmful effects of food treated with microwaves. The Soviet Union banned microwaves in 1976. I was unable to find a credible source for this claim. I don't know if the Russians actually banned microwaves or if this is just another made-up fact.
Stomach and intestinal cancer is especially high in people who eat microwave foods. I could imagine that's probably true. The people out of the whole of the world's population who have enough money to buy a microwave oven are generally the same people who have a long life expectancy. The longer you live, the higher the probability of getting cancer. Causality cannot be determined from a correlation. In fact, if you look at the information from the National Cancer Institute in the USA, you will find that using a microwave oven can decrease the amount of carcinogenic chemicals created when compared with conventional cooking techniques. But don't just believe me, have a look at the website for yourself. Out of a list of, you know, probably 50 different studies that I've gone through, I just picked a few for you to read. For some reason I doubt that Dr. Group actually read, you know, 50 different studies. I think maybe you just read that one article from the Christian Law Institute and managed to regurgitate it onto YouTube. He might have a different view on microwave safety if he had actually read real research, which was published in peer-reviewed journals. The Christian Law Institute article made a number of other claims which were not covered in Dr. Group's video. One of the claims is that the microwave oven was invented by the Nazis for supporting the invasion of Russia. I don't know how anyone would think it's a good idea to be dependent on the electrical power supply in the country you're invading during World War II. Or perhaps they thought it would be smart to carry around massive diesel generators to power the microwave ovens. In fact, the Nazis did not invent this item of culinary convenience. In 1945, an American engineer, Percy Spencer, was developing a more efficient way to produce magnetrons for military radar use. He noticed that a chocolate bar in his pocket melted while standing in front of an operating magnetron. He then deliberately cooked popcorn and later an egg, which apparently exploded in his colleague's face. He then went on to confine the microwave radiation in a metal box, which then became the microwave oven. Finally, I thought it would be worth looking at some of the real dangers of microwave ovens. Firstly, the lens of the eye has no cooling blood flow. It is prone to overheating when exposed to microwave radiation. This would only be a problem if the microwave oven door electromagnetic screening failed and allowed radiation to pass out of the door. Secondly, the microwave oven is capable of producing superheated water, that is, water in its liquid state while it's over 100 degrees Celsius. When anything is put into the water, it suddenly boils, spitting boiling water everywhere which can result in burns. Care should be taken with plastic containers in the microwave. Some can become weakened due to the heat and potentially fall apart or contaminate the food, so always use a microwave safe container. A microwave oven does not heat the food evenly. The food can end up with hot and cold spots, and the cold spots may not be taken above the temperature required to kill bacteria. The solution to this problem is to stir the food and let it stand for a while after cooking to distribute the heat evenly. Heating blood in the microwave is not a good idea. As stated earlier, the microwave does not cook the food evenly. So if you try to warm blood, some parts will get cooked and other parts will stay cold. This happened in 1989 when a nurse in Oklahoma, in a rush to get blood to the patient's body temperature, put it in the microwave. The patient was killed by the fact that the blood was overheated. And finally, if a microwave oven is dropped onto someone's head from a great height, then they'll probably die.